Okay, what we got here is a 93 GMC C1500. And as you can hear, it's just kind of lopping and trying to die at idle. It's brought in here because of this, getting a little surge off of idle and then going down the road, it would just cut out kind of like it's running out of gas and then kick back up and start running fine again. And as we can see here, this O2 is basically stuck on the ridge side. It's oscillating a little bit, but not much to it. And you can see the fuel trim is trying to pull a lot of gas away, and that's when it starts really chugging. And you see the fuel trim pulling gas away again, and it's starting to trying to die. So, anyways. seals fuel trans pulling that gas away and then it surges down then it lets more gas and it comes back up so this is all caused by fat O2 sensors what's going on here in fact earlier it was just pegged way up at 11 08 millivolts So if you got these kind of symptoms, I'll show you here in a minute. And if you don't have a scan tool or whatever, and it's acting like this, or you're driving down the road and it just kind of cuts out like it's dying, losing gas or something, and it kicks back in. What you got to go on is a half-ass working O2 sensors. Kind of working, not working. So what we'll do is we'll just unplug the O2 sensor and then fire this back up and that'll throw it into open loop and it'll just go to its predetermined fuel trends and then see if the problem goes away. I'll go unplug it now. Okay, we got the O2 unplugged. And as you can see, it's already idling better. And... Not getting that surge anymore. Okay, now here on this O2, we're still seeing about 450 millivolts. What that is, is the computer sends 450 millivolts down the signal wire to the O2 for diagnostic reasons. That voltage does not come from the O2, it's unplugged. So don't let that trip you up. In fact, I'll go under and I'll show you some tests on the O2 wiring. You'll see that 450 millivolts on the wire coming from the computer. Okay, under the car I got the O2 unplugged. I'm on the harness side back probed on that sensor wire. 
There's the other connect, that goes to the other two. And as you can see, on the voltmeter, almost 400 millivolts. That's coming from the computer down to the O2. And that kind of threw me for a loop at first. I didn't realize they're using bias voltage this early on, but that's what it is. And you can just do this right over voltmeter. You don't need scan or anything like that. Just to check. Check that. If you see that, you unplug it and you see that voltage on there, that means your wiring is good all the way up to the computer. So you don't have a wiring problem on your sensor wire. So, so if you don't have a scan tool and it's doing this, acting kind of like this is, just try unplugging that O2 and then uh, take it for a drive and see if it quits. And if it does, you probably got an O2 problem. <laughs>